Now, the whole idea of oversight transfer is relatively new, but is certainly promising and potentially rewarding for mares that we cannot, re that we cannot recover an embryo from. The idea of oocyte transfer is basically the oocyte is the mare's egg. And rather than going into the uterus to recover an embryo, we go into the ovary and recover the egg from the follicle before the mare ovulates. Here again, much of this work was done uh, by Dr. Ginther at Wisconsin and his grad student Elaine Carnavalli, who now runs the equine uh, embryo and oocyte division of the Stallion Lab at Colorado State University. Uh, Texas A&M is working on this procedure, as are other labs uh, around the world. But it has been refined to the point that it is now commercially available. And the idea is uh, mares that have a problem uterus, whether it's a cervix, whether it's infection, whether it's chronic urine, uh, fluid pooling, uh, and they, after repeated attempts at embryo transfer or at embryo retrieval have been unsuccessful, this allows us an opportunity to still get babies from those valuable mares. The, uh, the whole idea is to, uh, with a, uh, an ultrasound guided needle, we can actually puncture the follicle that is a mature follicle on the ovary and aspirate the contents, flush the interior of that follicle, and retrieve the egg before it is dropped into the oviduct. The egg, also called an oocyte, is then recovered from a search dish, cultured for six to eight hours, depending on the maturity of the oocyte when it's recovered. And then, surgically, we go into the recipient mare, very similar to the procedure that we used to do on the embryo transfer mares, and with an incision through their flank, go in and instead of depositing an embryo in the uterine horn, we are now depositing the egg in the oviduct adjacent to the ovary. So now we're putting the donor mare's egg into the recipient mare's oviduct and breeding the recipient mare with the semen that we originally would have bred the donor mare. Therefore, fertilization takes place in the oviduct of the recipient mare because we have exchanged her egg for the egg of the donor mare. When fertilization happens, it's identical to the genetic uh, recombination that would have happened with fertilization of the donor mare's egg if it had happened in the donor mare and we had bred her. Therefore, the uh, pregnancy that results in the recipient mare is the genetics of the donor mare the genetics of the sperm that the donor mare would have been bred with, and that pregnancy goes ahead and develops undisturbed in the uterus until it is born in, uh, from the recipient mare. So uh, we have a diagram and detail uh, further on in this tape that will explain the specifics of the procedure of oocyte transfer in the mare. And then finally, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what's commonly called ICS 